Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Code Academy. Today in this lecture, we will see what is CSS selectors, when to use them, what type of CSS selectors we have. The first question is why do we need CSS selectors? So whenever we want to target any HTML element on the screen, we need to tell browser that this particular element I want to style. So in that case, we will require CSS selectors. So let's check what are the CSS selectors we have. So first we have universal selector which is denoted by star. Then we have element selectors. Then we have ID selector which is denoted by hash. Then we have class selector which is denoted by dot. And additional uh, selector which I will be covering in this video is group selector. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. Universal selector is used when we want to apply style to each and every element of the HTML. It is basically denoted by the star sign. In the curly braces, you can mention whatever styling properties which you want to give. Let's check the example. So I have uh, created one HTML file and on the left hand side, you can see the HTML code and on the right hand side you can see the html file output so whatever style i'm going to write i will be writing within this style tag so first we will check what is universal selector so universal uh, selector is denoted by star sign so here to mention the universal selector you have to write something like star followed by the curly braces and the properties which you want to set so here to demonstrate I am just giving color as red so as soon as I give color as red it will be applicable to each and every element on the HTML so over here you can see since I have mentioned the universal selector this color is applied to the division tag which is over here as well as the li tags so that's it for the universal selector So element uh, selector is used when we want to give style to particular element on the HTML. So if you see the screenshot here, I have mentioned a particular element and in that we have given some styling to it. So whenever if you want to select any element, so we can just mention the name of that element followed by the styling properties, which we want to give. Let's check it with example. So next type of CSS selector we have is element selector. So element selector is used when we want to select specific element on the HTML. So now suppose in this case, if I want to uh, select this division, so what I can do, I can simply say division followed by the curly braces. And inside that I'm giving background color as yellow. So now you can see the background color is only applied to the division. So now suppose if I want to give background color to the LI. So you can see the background color is only applied to the LI tag. So whenever we want to select any specific element on the HTML. So at that time we can make use of this element selector. ID selectors. If you want to select any element with its ID, so at that time we can make use of ID selector. So ID selector is basically denoted with a starting a prefix as hash followed by the name of the ID. So in the screenshot, as you can see here, the hash is the sign which we want to use and my ID is basically ID of that particular element. Let's check it with the example. Now we will see when to use ID selector. So suppose if I given this division as ID, my ID, and suppose I want to select this division. So there is way we can select that using hash my ID. And here I can give the styling property. So I'm giving background color as blue. 
and since this my id is related to this division that is why the color has been applied to this division only so if i cut this one and give this id to list element with text 2 so then this background color will be applied to the text 2 class selector so class selector is denoted by dot so whenever we want to select any element which has particular class name so at that time we can make use of class selector as web developer i can say this is most widely used selector within the css selectors because variety of features which it provides we will be covering those in the example video so let's check that so here we will check what is class selector so class selector is denoted by dot so first i will say this division class as container and if i want to select by class name so so in that case we can do dot class name and here i can say background color as yellow so now the style is applied to this division so main advantage of using class selector is you can use this class to the multiple elements so now suppose if i want to give similar styling to this text tree so in that case what we can do we can give same class name to the li tag text tree and automatically it will be applicable to both so one advantage of classes you can declare multiple classes so here i am mentioning class 2 and now if i want color if i want to change text color so in that case what i need to do i need to write the class name and then color as let's give red so now you can see on this division i have two classes container and class 2 container 1 has background color as background yellow and class 2 has text color as red so both the classes is applied to the division and on the li tag we have applied only the container okay so that is why background has become yellow and since we haven't mentioned the class 2 in this te text tree so that is why it is not applicable so now suppose if i want to use for this text tree as well so what i have to do i have to simply mention the class name so both the classes will get applied so whenever we want to apply same styling to multiple elements so at that time we can make use of group selector so group selector is used as comma separated value like you can see in the screenshot i have applied same styling to multiple tags such as p tag h1 tag li tag and div tag so without wasting any time let's check it with example so if you see this code now we have applied color red to the title paragraph and dummy text and all these are different element so this is correct but we can do it in more precise way using group selector so to increase the readability and the length of the to decrease the length of the code what we can do so instead of writing this statements again and again what we can do we can group this by separating by comma so now since we have applied the style to the p tag so only the p tag is uh, becoming red so now what we can do we can separate it by comma so now if i give div as well then this style is applied to div and if i want to give for the span so it will be now applied to the span tag as well so in this way we can increase the readability of the code 
and also decrease the length of the code by making use of group selector so that is all regarding the css selectors thank you for watching this video if you like this video then make sure to hit like button and subscribe to my channel i will be making more videos like this you can check out other videos on my channel as well thank you for watching